We Honor Veterans is a national program created by the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization and the Department of Veterans Affairs. We Honor Veterans recognizes that understanding veterans' benefits as it relates to their health care can be very complicated. We believe it is essential that the veterans and their care providers are aware of benefits as they relate to health care at the end of life. This informational video will help understand the different branches of the Department of Veterans Affairs, highlight benefits available to veterans who are still being cared for, and provide information for surviving family members of the veteran's family. To start, there are three branches within the Department of Veterans Affairs related to veterans' benefits. The Veterans Benefits Administration, the Veterans Health Administration, and the Veterans Cemetery Administration. The three branches work together to encompass the wide variety of benefits entitled to veterans. Please visit their websites to find out more about their particular benefits. It is important to identify veterans upon admission to ensure that veterans are enrolled in the VA and set to receive benefits during the period of their care. The Military History Checklist helps determine if the veteran may qualify for benefits and what benefits may be available. We encourage you to talk with veterans about their enrollment in the VA and access to benefits early on in their care. The questions listed in Part 6 of the checklist are important to understand the veteran's current status and familiarity with the VA. Collecting data from the checklist can help your facility identify areas of improvement in caring for veterans. First, we will cover benefits available to veterans while they are still receiving care. If the veteran was disabled by an injury during the course of their, their military service, they may be entitled to disability compensation. The, about, the amount of the tax-free compensation depends on a variety of factors including extent of disability, number of dependents, and disability status of their spouse. If the veteran requires regular aid and attendance by a caregiver, or if the veteran is homebound, they may be entitled to additional disability compensation or pension payments under the Aid and Attendance Benefit as determined by the VA. Claims for the Aid and Attendance Benefits must be accompanied by a physician's statement on the diagnosis and prognosis of the disabilities as well as the effects on daily living. If a veteran is 30% disabled or more and their spouse needs aid and attendance, they may be eligible for additional benefits. For additional information on benefits and compensation that veterans may be entitled to while still in care, please visit the Pension Services webpage, which can be found on the VA website under Benefits. Next, we will discuss the benefits available to survivors of the veterans and benefits related to memorials and burials. If the veteran has died due to a service-related condition or injury, their surviving spouse and or child may receive a monthly tax-free benefit from the VA. This benefit is called Dependency and Indemnity Compensation and is also known as DIC. The DIC may be collected if the veteran's death resulted from a non-service related condition in certain circumstances. For more information about those circumstances, you can find them on the VA website. If the surviving spouse requires aid and attendance of a caregiver, is homebound, or in a nursing home, the spouse may be entitled to receive additional benefits to DIC. If the veteran's child or children are under 18 years of age, they may be eligible for additional benefits. If the child or children is over the age of 18, they may receive DIC benefits while attending school until age 23. A surviving spouse and or surviving children of a deceased wartime veteran may be entitled to a death pension benefit. This needs-based benefit is available to the surviving spouse and or children if the veteran actively served during wartime. With the same criteria as the DIC, the surviving spouse's special conditions may qualify for additional benefits and children face the same age requirements. If, at the time of death, the veteran was entitled to additional benefits that have not yet been paid, the surviving family may be eligible for what are called accrued benefits. These benefits, although allocated for the veteran, may be granted to the survivors upon the veteran's death. The survivors must file a claim within one year after the veteran's death for the claim to be valid. After death of a veteran, the surviving family may be assisted through burial and memorial benefits. The extent of the benefits depends on a variety of factors. These include if the death was caused by service-related injuries, if the veteran was receiving VA benefits, and if the veteran died in a VA-affiliated facility or not. 
Upon death, burial in a VA National Cemetery is available for veterans at no cost. This benefit includes the gravesite, opening and closing of the grave, headstone, and perpetual care, as well as a burial flag and military funeral honors. Depending on the circumstances of the veteran's death, for instance, if it was service-connected or non-service-connected, the extent of benefits may vary. The list of benefits available to veterans and their survivors is not limited to those covered in this overview. Information on benefits related to insurance, finance, veterans' parents, and survivors' education can be found on the VA website or through one of the related veterans' benefits offices. For more detailed information regarding benefits and eligibility for veterans, please have the veteran or their family contact their Veterans Services representative available at regional offices and some VA medical centers. Additionally, for more information on aid for survivors, please contact the VA's Office of Survivors Assistance by visiting their website or calling their office.